Hi there, Dan here. In this video, I'm gonna go through a few note-taking apps on the iPad that you can use for digital planning. These are all free, although some do have limited functionality, but it will help people new to digital planning be able to try it out and see if it works for them. The ones I'm gonna go through are Notes Writer, Zoom Notes, Lite, OneNote, and also Color Note, and there'll be timestamps in the description for you to be able to jump to the relevant section. The first one I'm gonna start with is Notes Writer. So I'm just gonna open this up. Before I get started, just to be clear, the planners do not come with any of the apps, and these are ones available from our digital planning shop, but I'll just be talking through the actual app functionality. So you can see on here, the first thing to mention um, is you have a toolbar along the top with a fairly intuitive. We have like text box, pen icons, erasers, and colors, which I'll show in a bit more detail. It's very straightforward to use. Once you've got the hand icon, you can just tap any of the hyperlinks, and this will jump to the relevant pages, as well as being able to jump around. So I'm just gonna go to a plain page just so I can show some of the writing abilities. And, and that's using the hand icon. If you go to one of the uh, pencil or pen icons here, you can then select the color you wish to use and then write. And you can see it works pretty well. There's no uh, palm issues with the eraser tool. You can just rub all this out. I believe they have different settings in here so you can change the size of the eraser and you have different ty types of pens, text box and so on. And you can also, once you have some writings, let me just write some more in, you can use a uh, the cut tool, which allows you to move things around. So the basic functionality in here is, is, is available. It does also deal fairly well with images. So if I just drag the files folder to the side, I'm just gonna drag one of these um, stickers Then you can see it's imported in. And you can easily change the size of these and then reposition it as you would like. Another thing to mention is if you tap the plus icon, you will see various different items that you're able to add to the planner, um, including stuff like recording audio. So there is quite a lot of different functionality in there. The last point I'll mention is there is a document editor. And what this does allow you to do is to be able to copy different pages you can see it's mainly focused on portrait documents and not for landscape, so it is slightly distorted, but you can still use this as a way to copy pages and paste them elsewhere. You do need to be careful about how you duplicate pages because certain approaches in here do break hyperlinks, so it still does have some bugs. This is the first app I wanted to mention, but as I say, you are limited to a few different documents. Now, if I go to Zoom Notes Lite, The first thing to mention with Zoom Notes is it is quite complex. Um, I feel fairly tech savvy and this one sometimes does make me wonder exactly how I'm supposed to use it. So if you do use this, I do recommend checking out their instructions in quite a bit of detail. Um, the one I'm just gonna go through is another one of our planners that I've preloaded on here. We've got various uh, toolbars along the sides. The key one to mention is we have this directional arrow. So just tap this and this will then allow you to move between pages. You can tap hyperlinks and jump around the planner as you would like. And then you can select the pen icon and write on this. And the eraser tool, let's put it in. And it's very fluid again. Now, if you tap the settings icon, you can see all the different functionalities that you're able to add, including adding links. But, but some of this is only available on the paid app. In terms of using it as a free app, you're able to write, erase, you've got a pages section, which allows you to, in a similar way, move around and copy pages. One of the key limitations with Zoom Notes Lite is the inability to be able to add images to the planner, so you won't be able to decorate it. So if you're just using it as a functional note-taking app, you can do that, but if you're wanting to use it as a decorative and to be able to add images and stickers, this might not work for you, but it should give you a way to be able to try out digital planning. The next app I wish to talk about is Microsoft OneNote, and this is a very different app compared to the other two. So this is using our black paper planner. And if you tap, for example, one of the hyperlinks, you're able to jump around here using links, or you can use the navigation panel. So the way OneNote works is that you have a navigational panel here, which has different sections and pages, and you can jump around here. But it's not like a typical digital planner that you can swipe left to right or up and down, but you have to jump to the relevant different pages on here. And you're able to zoom out, but you can see it's not quite as fluid as some of the other apps and as quick to load the entire page. There's a couple of reasons why you may wish to use OneNote on an iPad, and they are one that it's, it's free, 
But secondly, it works on lots of different devices. So you can use this on a Windows PC, a Mac PC. You can use this on an Android tablet, as long as you've set it up elsewhere. And then you're able to sync very easily between the different devices. So I can make a change on here and that will show up on my PC within a matter of seconds. You can also still use stickers. So I'm just gonna to go to some of the sticker sections here. It's very easy to be able to use the lasso tool. Then you can select the stickers you wish to use and then copy them across and add them to other pages. The last app I wish to mention is Colonote. This was actually mentioned by Janice Studies in a recent video. For note-taking purposes, it's a decent app. It's very intuitive interface, similar in some ways to GoodNotes, and you're able to just write down on here and erase very easily. And you've got different functions and, and images to be able to add them to, as well as like audio to be able to record it on here. Which I'm gonna stop. One thing that looks like they're really focused on is collaboration, and I quite like it because they've got these public notes that you're able to write on and see other people writing in real time. So that, it, it seems a very collaborative piece um, on there, and the amount of work that's gone into this um, for free is good. But you can see there, it does. there are some bugs and it does crash from time to time. The problem for digital planners is this doesn't really work anyway, which I'll come to now, is that it doesn't seem to work with hyperlinks. So when I try and tap on the tabs, nothing works and nothing goes through. And that seemed to be for not just our planner, but like all, all hyperlinked documents as far as I can tell. If you're interested in any of our planners, check out the link in the description. And we also have a free digital planner for anyone who wished to try it. And you can use one of the free apps mentioned in this video to give it a go. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions at all, please let us know and we'll come back to you. Hope that helps and happy planning.